In this video, I want to discuss some of the ways technology affects communication and specifically focus on social media and its impact on interpersonal communication. So, as far as social media goes, some of the characteristics that we need to keep in mind about social media as it relates to interpersonal communication is, first of all, that social media is very lean in terms of the, the way it communicates. So we have what we call channel-rich or channel-lean communication, meaning channel-rich communication the most channel rich would be face to face where you have not only the words that people are using but their tone of voice the rate of speech and their gesturing the context the, the, the surrounding that communication the environment that it's taking place in all these types of uh, factors uh, and, and that we can read into from the channel it makes it a very rich a channel rich experience as opposed to social media which is very channel lean you're very limited in what you have to go off of in terms of the channel so you have basically the words that people are using or the image that they're using, but you don't have any context surrounding that. No, nothing with tone of voice and things like that usually. So um, so we want to be aware that social media tends to be very lean in terms of uh, the way it uses channels and things. Social media is also typically asynchronous, meaning that it's not happening in real time. Even if you're texting somebody and they, they're texting right back and things, it's not the same as real time. Um, so social media is very asynchronous. We need to be aware of that limitation and the way that that impacts our communication there, that, it, that it's not happening synchronously. It's not happening in real time. Uh, also being aware of the permanence of social media and the Internet in general. You post something on the Internet, and there's the potential that it's going to be there forever, and not only be there, but be there in a way that you don't necessarily intend for it to be there forever. Um, so, for example, maybe you're familiar with this guy. This is a meme from the Internet. This doesn't happen to be a welcome to the Internet, I'll be your guide type meme, but uh, it may surprise you. It surprised me to see this on the Internet because I actually know this person. This is my friend Robbie, and uh, he took these pictures along with another a group of friends of ours, took some goofy Christmas pictures one year, and decided to use them as Christmas cards. They wanted to do that, so they totally staged this thing. Uh, Robbie doesn't have that mustache. He doesn't wear those glasses. He doesn't wear those type of clothes. He doesn't, he doesn't even own a cat. This is totally a staged thing that he put on his Facebook, and somebody grabbed it at one point and turned it into a meme. Now it's out there forever, and every Christmas season it comes around. You see him in different memes, and so we always see Robbie around Christmas time uh, in the meme category, and and so it's weird to see him um, face to face sometimes when you're so used to seeing him on the internet. But once you put something on the internet, no matter how you intend for it to be used, be aware that it could be permanent and could be used um, for all kinds of different things. So another question surrounding social media is how it impacts relational quality. Now, social media can have positive impacts on relational quality. Uh, it can also have negative impacts on relational quality, right? Um, sometimes we use social media to and draw closer to someone and allows us to remain in their lives when we might not otherwise be able to or it could help us to remain in contact with people that we might not otherwise be able to so it can enhance the relational quality other times it can serve to uh, as a detriment to relational quality it can be a negative maybe we're seeing too much of someone or we're seeing a different side of someone that we that we wish we wouldn't and so we need to be aware of the impact that it can have both directions on relational quality we also need to be sure that we are communicating competently on social media. We talked in a different video about communication competence, so we want to be sure that we're communicating competently on social media. What we mean by that is, first of all, be careful what you post for all the reasons that we've talked about so far, because it's permanent, because people can read into it, because it can have an impact on relational quality. Be careful what you post and be aware of what you're posting. Be mindful and thoughtful of what you're posting on social media. Also, be considerate. And there are a variety of things that go into this. Um, first, respecting others' need for undivided attention. If you're talking to somebody face-to-face, -face, but you're on social media at the same time, that's not considerate. You need to respect others' need for, for your undivided attention when it's called for. You also need to keep your tone civil in social media. It's easy for flame wars to start and for people to fly off the handle very quickly and very easily on social media because of what we call... Um, the disinhibition effect of uh, communicating via technology. So we need to keep our tone civil and be hyper aware of being at least civil when we're talking over social media. Uh, we also need to be mindful of bystanders. Even online, there could be kids that, you know, we need to be cautious of what are, what are people's kids seeing? What are people's parents seeing? What are, what are your parents seeing? Uh, that made me a lot more mindful on social media when I was on social media about, you know, what if my mom sees this? <laughs> so... Be mindful of bystanders. Be, be aware that you don't, 
you're not hitting people with cast off from your comments and things like that. So, and you need to balance your EMC or your electronically mediated communication with FaceTime. Uh, there needs to be a balance both within the relationships that you're, you're engaging in in social media and also just in general for you that you're engaging, again, that you're respecting others' need for undivided attention. And when you're talking to somebody face to face, that you're engaged face to face and you're not dividing your attention that way, um, but also that you're providing adequate attention to people, not just in social media, but when you see them in real time, when you have the opportunity to, to do that in real time. So in general, what do we mean by competent online communication? Just a couple other principles to keep in mind. First of all, be aware of the potential um, for misunderstanding, right? People, again, because it's so asynchronous and because it's so lean, social media is grounds where you can there's a lot of misunderstanding that happens on the internet and on social media there's a lot of interpretation involved so you need to be careful and be aware of that potential also again be just presume that everything is permanent and nothing is secret whatever you post online is fair game it could be out there forever and it's not going to be a secret so regardless of what some sites promise or whatever it's not going to be a secret necessarily so presume that everything is permanent and that nothing is secret and let that guide your decision on what you post as well and finally, avoid communicating in anger. Um, it, it, just Again, because of the disinhibition effect, we need to be very careful of this. We need to take some time out. Before you hit the post button or the send button or whatever, just let it sit for an hour, let it sit overnight, and, and see if it's still what you want to say and how you want to say it. But we need to avoid communicating in anger and using technology to, uh, to do that. As always, if you have questions, feel free to email me. I'm, I'm always available via email and happy to answer emails. So um, please feel free to email me with any questions about the content or anything else you may have questions about in communication. Otherwise, happy communicating.